code that's uh that's super cute sit up let me look at the whole thing sit. there we go nice back and everything that's fun i'm glad you're back from work but we've got big 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 plans so let's go right now yeah let's go leave your chair of cheer. we're not taking the chair of cheer that no we're not taking that to grandpa's house no 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 cody that chair of cheer is going to end up in the dumpster of fear so you should leave it right there yeah just go set it somewhere nice see all these amazing rvs mm -hmm. there's only one thing for us to do right now we're coming for you miles is it the time of year where we get to get this bad boy out sure as heck is Keep coming, keep coming. Okay, hold up. Right Let me back up some more. Well, Frank, you pulled miles the first 45 miles so far. Feels pretty good. Um, I will say it is weird not being in the routine of things. I had to like go through my head. What is my routine with the trailer? What's the lock routine? What's the like hitch routine? Everything. I am all out of place. Good morning from the road. We have some big updates. If you missed our last house update, I will put a link for it in the description. We are moving onward and upward. Actually, we're moving downward. So as you can see, we've got the, is it a backhoe? The tractor out there. And I'm not sure what exactly he's digging. I thought he was digging the shop, but the shop is gonna go right here. Anyway, we are preparing. If he's not doing it today, I know he'll be doing it soon. We're preparing to dig the foundation for our shop. The shop, I think, has, all, mm, you know, you're just going to die. You know, you'll just wait and see. You'll just, you'll just wait and see about Joel's shop. I have a little something for Mr. Holine. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> not back here underneath my carpet samples i have a little something for joel so if you've been a loyal follower of our channel you know that joel has some feet issues he has neuromas in his feet so he has to wear wide shoes not all wide shoes are attractive um not all wide shoes, not all shoes that Joel enjoys um, come in wide. Now, the shoes Joel wears day in and day out here at the property, I feel like they're a little infamous. You know what I mean? Like, these are Joel's or maybe iconic. But anyway, whatever I want to call it, Joel wears these shoes day in and day out. Hi, Tootsie. Hey, Joel. <laughs> All right, show me, show me the shoes. Oh, All the right. Shoes. Look at these things. <laughs> okay, let's see. Lift your toe back up. Do you see this one? Do you see how his shoe is separating right here? Okay, now you're not gonna be able to see the original shape and color <laughs> of these shoes until you see the new ones. So even though I got you the exact same pair of shoes Ooh. that you're wearing. Can I grab it? Yes, of course you can. Good. This is let's just <laughs> let's just put these bad boys side by side, okay? The <laughs> See how this one has like a square structure to, structure to it, and this just looks like a nice rounded leather sack. <laughs> Soft. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention the smell of working through a whole winter. Yeah, these shoes have seen things, haven't they? They've seen some things. Yeah. I am so thrilled to let you have a new pair of shoes. And I asked Joel, I was like tomorrow? Can right you can now? put them on right now. When I asked Joel if I could get him the same pair, he was, I mean, I was, I actually wanted to try a new pair, but he just wanted, he just wanted the same ones because he loves them so much. So they're easy to work in because they've got room for your feet this way, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you think a new pair of shoes is going to hurt your feet? Mm. No. Because you've been wearing them for like years. I love Keens. How many pairs of this exact same shoe have you gone through? A lot. How many do you think? Uh, I, like I four? Do, probably. 
they're just so comfortable. And they last for, I mean, okay, how many years have you gotten out of these? Uh, these have had a year and a half of day in, day out work. Literally every single day, day in, day out, out in the snow, you know. This year's winter was rough. Yeah, it was really They're rough. waterproof and they stayed waterproof for a long time until I was trudging in snow that would go down there. And <laughs> now they smell a little ripe. <laughs> You know, it's the smell for me. You could probably wear them a little longer, but they, you know, mm -hmm. you know, they, you needed a new pair. I can't wait. Let the puppies breathe. Let the puppies breathe. How comfortable were you when I was trying to get a picture of you with your new shoes in front of the other contractors? The other contractor price weren't making any funny stuff. Um, what was that, honey? You're speaking really timidly. Hmm? What? What? What did you say? You heard me. No, what did you say? Wait, I'm sorry. Are you not speaking loud because the contractors are going to hear you? I need them to know I'm in charge. <laughs> well, honey, tell them who's really in charge. I need them to know that you're in charge. <laughs> and I said, I want a picture of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got the most attractive photo of Joel in his, with his new shoes. <laughs> Okay, I have to know. Are you actually like into like embarrassed a little? No. <laughs> oh, that is rich. Okay, how handsome? Oh, that feels. How does that feel? It feels like fresh. Yeah, Joel's feet need really good support. Um, I wish we could figure your feet out, but you know I told what? him you had neuromas. What else we got going on? Is that it? That's it. But they, they. I don't know. I have them. When I wear my Keens, I don't. Or like other good shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But you just have to find them. You have to find what works for you, and this is what works for Joel. And it's hard so. to find shoes that for neuromas, because like everything the doctor shows me to wear, I'm like... Oh. They're like old man orthopedic looking shoes, and they're just not attractive. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, we can find wide shoes, but they don't look attractive. And this fits Joel's style big time. Okay. Oh, yeah. How cute are those boots sitting there? <laughs> I need to turn this off and get a picture. What are you gonna do with these old guys? I want you to throw them away. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do not want to keep them those things. <laughs> Olivia would probably want them. But... <laughs> Why would Olivia yeah. want them? I don't know, I've seen her slip those on a few times to take them for a walk. Right? Oh yeah, that's because anyone can get their feet in these, you know, bad boys. And mm -hmm. so, you know, when you're running to the mail and you just need to slip some shoes on or yeah. take a lady for a walk, does that feel good? That's nice. Good. It's clean, not like soggy. <laughs> not soggy. I swear these haven't dried out all the way from the video. So. <laughs> all right. Well, um, will you get back to work? Because I have a house that you need to build. Yeah, I got new boots. I can work twice as fast now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work faster, harder, faster. As you can see, we've got the RV in a very temporary spot. We're doing a few things with her. So, you know, she's right here for the moment being and when i tell you that i wish like crazy you could have seen the kids out here here's what they were doing the kids were oh i can hear some commotion behind me too i can't wait to hear what that's all about as you can see we've got some cardboard we've got a grocery sack and we've got a lot of staples and good thing grandma has a lot of the free samples of dental floss from the dentist because we've got a, uh, a kite string made of dental floss and the wind was just going crazy out here earlier and the boys were running up and down the sidewalk with their homemade garbage sack kites and it was the most wholesome thing I'd ever witnessed and I was too much enjoying the moment to um, pull out my camera. Anyway, I'm following the, you know, the, the crumbs of kids, you know, okay, crumbs of kids. Lincoln? Link, where are you? Let's see where he is. Link! You know, I heard that stinking air blower. We were supposed to do the lawn today, but... A few things came up. We actually had to go visit Aunt Linda in the hospital today. She's she's not doing very well. Um, so we went and saw her. The lawn will have to wait. Today was lawn day and 
it just got put on hold. So things are feeling like a mess. Where is Lincoln? I knew, I knew that if I followed the noise that I would find him. You just wait for this. the charger <laughs> I heard you out here and I thought where is that blower I can hear it I just couldn't find it I'll tell you what I'm gonna go put that battery on the charger tomorrow I can do it tomorrow you can do this however look at mom I need you to go put the scooter away there's a, an empty drink bottle in the grass. I need you to help me get things picked up and cleaned up before we go inside for the evening. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Okay. Bring that to me and I'll go put that away. Oh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, go put your scooter away. <laughs> oh, it's like this boy. He just makes me crazy. But I also would what would I what would my life be without you? Nothing. Nothing. It would be nothing. See, we've got a bike that needs put away. A kite. We've got a really spectacular kite that needs put away. I thought it was spectacular. It's just not windy. Yeah, the wind left. And I tried doing it with the leaf blower. You were trying to get your kite to go with the leaf blower didn't work out. To end the vlog, I have to tell you, Joel was taking his boots to the garbage can outside. Cause I asked him, I was like, what can we do with these? And he's like, they're shot. He's like, I'm just gonna throw them away. He went and put them in the dumpster and one of the contractors was watching and he said, he asked Joel, which I thought was so sweet. He was like, hey, I, I'd really like to take those boots. He goes, but I don't wanna take them from your garbage. if." if you wouldn't want me to do that. And Joel was like, please, he's like, please take those. And anyway, I'm not sure if they were his right size or not. I think they're like really big for him, but I think Joel is gonna try and find out the size of his contractor's feet and maybe we can get him a pair of shoes. And I just thought that was so sweet. I thought that was so tender and sweet. But I think the most sweet thing is that he asked if he could take that from our garbage can. I just, anyway, we're going to try to get him a pair of shoes.